Hi, I'm Mike Dahlstrom with Washington County's Department of Land Use and Transportation. I'd like to welcome you to the 50th Annual National Public Works Week, helping the community understand what local government provides for them. I want you to think about what it takes to build and maintain our streets, our bridges, provide clean water, and secure our homes. But first of all, I'd like to thank Washington Square, who's been a valued partner for sponsoring this event for many years now. So let's take a walk around and meet some of our partners here in Washington County that provide those valuable services. Washington County collaborates with a great number of service providers, and now's our chance to take a look, learn what they do, and get a little more information back to you. With me is Ellie, the Public Information Specialist from Clean Water Services. So Ellie, what does Clean Water Services do? Well, we do a lot of things. When it comes to public works, one of the most important things, as you said, is having clean water. So we clean wastewater, which a lot of people, they don't really think about that very often. What happens to the water after you flush the toilet or it goes down the drain in your sink or your shower? So we have four treatment facilities in Washington County and we take all of the water, the water, the wastewater from houses and businesses and residents in urban Washington County and we clean it. So that is one of our biggest jobs we do. It's a big job. Um, another thing we do is we help manage stormwater. And stormwater is the water when it rains, and it rains a lot here, so we're all used to all that water. We have to manage it in some way. When it hits the pavement, it has to go somewhere. It goes into storm drains outside, and then eventually it makes its way into the Tualatin River, which is our river in the basin that we also help keep that clean. So wastewater, stormwater, we also are involved in water supply, planning for how we're going to get water for farms and fish and families in the next 50 years. Um, we want to make sure that the Tualatin Basin is healthy and the river keeps flowing and moving and stays nice and clean and cool. So we also are working with water supply. So we kind of, you know, we're known maybe for wastewater and stormwater, but we look at everything as one giant cycle. All water is related. So. We're kind of concerned with all of those things and want to make sure that we have water and it's clean for um, our citizens and residents. Good. So, Ellie, what, what, can, what can people do to help? There's, there's a lot of people, a lot of things people can do to make sure that our water is clean and healthy for generations to come. And it really starts at home. It's little things that you do in your yard and in your driveway make a big impact on our watershed. So we have a lot of tools and information today um, from helping people realize that using native plants in your yard um, are good for our watershed. And sometimes that connection, you know, isn't quite made, but native plants don't use a lot of chemicals to grow and they're suited to our environment and they use less water. So that helps our watershed be nice and healthy and clean. Also, the connection of the storm drain and the river is really important. So um, when people take their dog for a walk and they leave the dog waste on the ground, that can eventually end up in the river in our water. So we want to remind people that picking up after your pets is really important. Keeping soap out of the storm drain when you're washing your car is really important too. But then there's also the wastewater information that we're talking about too today. So when you're done cooking and you pour your grease down the drain, it might go down the drain, but it might harden there too and cause backups and problems further down the pipe. So we're kind of educating people that if you freeze it um, so it doesn't spill and you throw it into the garbage can, that's better than pouring it down the drain where it could eventually cause a clog later down the line. So Great. wastewater is, information too. Is there some place people can go to get more of this information? Yeah, a lot of our information is available on our website. So it's cleanwaterservices.org um, and there's a wealth of information there for people to look at. So with me is Julius and Paul from the Tualatin Valley Water District, one of the members of the Joint Water Commission. So Julius, tell me, what is it that you do different that Clean Water Services doesn't do? What we do is uh, the difference between us and Clean Water Services is that uh, we serve po uh, potable drinking water to the public. And we also provide uh, fire protection. So you're actually the ones that bring it from the street into our house? Yep. So it comes in, and this it comes in through a pipe. This is probably installed in the early 1900s. It's an old wooden pipe, and as time and materials came available, and they started switching to different steel pipes, and now it is mostly being ductile iron pipes. And why is why is that transition good for us? Is there a, 
uh, a they quality got, issue? Yeah, uh, you get uh, the pipe lasts longer. They got a 50 year lifespan, so it tends to last longer, uh, stronger. Good. So our infrastructure costs save us money save, over the long run. Saves money time. over the long run, and, and you get uh, better quality drinking water. Where is our water source come from? Our water source comes from uh, Barney Reservoir, Hag Lake, trickles down into the Tualatin River, which they draw off at the treatment plant, and then it goes into distribution lines, the large water mains, and then it goes through some fluoride stations, some booster stations, some reservoirs, and it gets distributed out to the houses from there through these large water mains, and from the water mains is where we hook up to. We hook up a valve to the water main, which is a, a port. From that, we run copper all the way to past the curb, and we put a curb stop in for the water meter, and, and the water meter is installed. The water meter then, water goes all the way to the home. And one of the important things, if you have a sprinkler system or house, is you have backflow, so we don't get any contamination back into the drinking water. We hope that today you've learned a little bit more about the services that your local county government gives you. We thank you for the support, and we continue to look forward to serving you for many, many years into the future. Thank you.